Hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a bit of a different video. Now I will be playing the hunter in the background um, of talking about what um, I'm actually here to talk about today but there's going to be talk about uh, another hunting game. Now I've been really really kind of cautious about getting interested in this other game that I'm going to talk about However, some new stuff that's come out, some new screenshots and some new information from the devs has made me quite interested in this new game. Now, I'm, I, like I said, I'm playing Call of the Wild for two reasons. One is because it's, an, it's a hunting sim and there's no other better hunting sim in, in the gaming industry than Call of the Wild at the moment. And because a lot of people have been saying that this could be the Call of the Wild killer. Now, I'm a die-hard Call of the Wild fan, and I don't see this killing Call of the Wild anytime soon. Um, it's not even due to come out until 2022. Um, however, I do think it could be a game that goes well alongside the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm never going to stop playing Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild, I am, like I said, a die-hard fan. However, there's some really there's some stuff in this um, in this new game from the looks of it that I'm really interested to actually play. So I thought I'd talk about that, seeing as um, there's a lot been a lot of talk about it in the community recently, and I didn't know whether any of my viewers have been actually looking at this and wondering what my thoughts and opinions are. So I've been doing some research today going through their trailer, their Facebook and everything. Got a few screenshots and yeah, I've been really interested. So the first few screenshots here are actually going to be from the, uh, the, the official trailer for this new game. It is called Ultimate Hunting. Now, Ultima Hunting seems to be a similar game to Call of the Wild, where you will be able to hunt various different species of game. Here we can see the boar in their environment, and it does sound like there's going to be trophy lodges, so I'd imagine there's going to be trophy animals, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. What I'm really interested in is the, the how good this, actu this environment actually looks. Now, like I said, I don't think this is going to kill Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild, I love you. Call of the Wild is my favourite hunting game. I love it to bits. But I'm interested in playing this. Like, I love this atmosphere with the elk here drinking in the water. And also the fact that there's young animals interests me. I'm really interested to see how that actually plays out because that's something that a lot of people have said that they would like to see in Call of the Wild. Personally, I didn't want to see that in Call of the Wild. However, I'm not against seeing it in a different game. Call of the Wild is my bread and butter for a hunting game. But I'm in always interested in playing other hunting games. And like I said, I have no other... Any, there's no other hunting game as good as Call of the Wild. There's just none. So we've seen elk, we've seen wild boar, and here we see an axis deer. And I really like the models. Like, so far the models look really good. I really like the axis deer and the wild boar. The wild boar especially, I really, really like. And they seem to be quite detailed and quite lifelike. And that, apparent, that seems to be the theme that they're going for, is to give um, quite a realistic look to all their animals and make them very, very detailed. And yeah, it's quite an interesting style and I'm quite quite liking the look of it. Like I said, these are all from the trailer, which I will link in the uh, description down below. So make sure to go and watch it if you're interested. Um, I'm really interested in this. I just, I don't know. There was something about other hunting games that I, I'm always like, nah, nothing compares to Call of the Wild. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying at all that this is going to compare. I don't know. No one knows. Because there was a lot of hype over Hunting Sim 2. Like, I remember the Hunting Sim 2 hype. And I was like, nah, like, the animal models didn't look great to me. The, the a lot of stuff didn't look great. And then it ended up being, basically, it just flopped. So, uh... I'm always really careful about getting interested in other hunting games. However, this one really does tick a lot of boxes from a paper perspective. So I'm really interested to see how that plays out. Um, another reason that I decided to play Call of the Wild um, whilst I was talking a bit more just for extension in the clips was because they, the devs, have apparently, from what I've heard in interviews and stuff, have played Call of the Wild and Classic a lot, and they love the games. So, again, and it's, like, Call of the Wild are very aware of this game. A lot of people talk, uh, like, say things in the stream and they say that they wish um, Ultimate Hunting ha to have a smooth release. Um, so that's lovely, and like I said, I'm interested to see how these two games can complement each other. 
Now this is going to be some pictures that they've put on their Facebook page. Like I said, it's Ultimate Hunting. Make sure to go and check them out. They are on Facebook. They are on YouTube. Um, I will put the links in the description for you to go and watch their stuff. But this is a black bear. Now, that's a different looking black bear to the Call of the Wild models. It's a bit more upright and a little slimmer. And um, just look at that environment. I'm a lot about the environments in games and how immersed I can feel in these hunting games. And that looks really good. Like, that looks really, really good. And also from the description that went along with this picture, it sounds like the black bears will be aggressive. Because it said that this is no Winnie the Pooh, do not be mistaken. And to me, that gives the, the impression that this can be an aggressive animal and not to mistake it for a teddy bear. I'm just very, very keen to see how that plays out. Because we're not used to seeing aggressive black bears in the hunting games I play at the minute. The, uh, the black bears tend to be quite shy. Now, I love this screen this uh, screen capture here that they shared of the wild boar. So you can see an adult there and a little youngster. And the models look really, really good. However, there is some something about the boar, the adult boar model especially, that looks a bit plastic. Um, I don't know what that is, but maybe in game it won't look as bad. Maybe it's just because it's frozen. Maybe it's because it's not a finished project yet. But some of the hair detail, if you look on the chest, doesn't look quite as refined as maybe I'd expect it to be. But they are more than respectable models. They are by far not the worst models I have seen. So again, a really, really interesting, um, really interesting design choice. And I don't know if I love it or hate it in terms of if it's going to look like this. Because again, it, I, something about that adult boar especially makes me feel like it's a little bit plasticky in the fur. Like it's all stiff looking. Um, hopefully you can understand what I mean there. They also shared this image, which shows uh, what from the description is a female wild boar with all of her youngsters and um, telling you not to uh, approach her unless you're willing for a fight, basically, because the, it seems that the mother animals will be aggressive. Now, from someone who, like a wildlife lover perspective, that would be really cool. However, for a hunting game, I don't know how I'd feel about shooting or even going around near female animals and they young. Now this is the portion that really really interests me and excites me because this is where it will differ from Call of the Wild in one really big aspect is some of the animal choices for this game. Now this was something they shared again on their Facebook page you can see there it's got the Ultimate Hunting logo on it make sure to go and check them out it is Ultimate Hunting on Facebook they have a, a page where they're sharing stuff so please go and look there. Um, but this was their little South Africa teaser and you could see like some animals there and then they shared this which is like the with the text and that removed so we can see three species of animal here very 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 distinctly and they are three species we do not see in Call of the Wild currently they are the giraffe the greater kudu and the zebra now greater kudu I can see them being added to Call of the Wild at some point in the future if we get a second Africa map because we already have lesser kudu and they are pretty much si pretty similar just a bit bigger in terms of gameplay perspective um Zebras seem to be a little bit controversial, um, sort of pushing the boundaries a little bit because of them being equine and some people don't see why you would want to hunt a zebra from um, a lot of the stuff that was actually talked about when the Mexico map was um, being, re like, being revealed, being discovered when we were looking at clues. However, the giraffe is the really big point here. They have pretty much pretty much said for Call of the Wild that they won't add giraffes and elephants and stuff like that because they're very controversial. So that could be something where this game could complement Call of the Wild perfectly. This is another screenshot they shared, I would guess it's from the same reserve, and that is a hippo, uh, it looks like a hippo cow and calf, and a very clear crocodile there. And crocodiles, and animals interacting with the water, and also the, uh, the jeep on the uh, far left hand side there in sort of the middle if you look yeah there's a lot of vehicle stuff in this game which also interests me and again the environment looks really realistic and it's something that I'm really 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 interested to see how this plays in game because what I don't want it to be is a point and shoot gallery or a really small map with a few animals on it however I will talk about that again in a little bit because I found some stuff through digging through their Facebook comments that I'm really interested in 
But like I said, the animal choice is, I think, the thing that's going to separate this from Call of the Wild. And I mean separate it. I don't mean make it better, necessarily. I mean separate it. It seems like Ultima Hunting are very much going for the big game hunter style. Maybe sort of harkening back to Cabela's where you were hunting uh, aggressive elephants and that kind of thing. Call of the Wild was very much pushing the boundaries when they added lions. Um, from what I've heard, there was a lot of controversy over that decision. And it was um, it sort of made, it reinforced their choice not to want to add things like elephants and giraffes. Um, but that is, that's just from what I've heard. You know, I'm not saying that they will never add them. It just seems unlikely. A lot of the animal choices seem to veer away from game that a lot of people tend to think of as either very emotive, like elephants and lions and leopards and stuff like that. A lot of people get a bit touchy about that, even though, in my opinion, it's just pixels and it's a game. Like when I go and hunt polar bears in the Hunter Classic, it's just a game. I'm not actually going and shooting a polar bear. It really doesn't matter to me. I go in Red Dead and I shoot people pixels. It's not real. Um, but that's how I feel. I can understand that maybe by personal choice, someone might not want to go and hunt an elephant if that's their favourite animal. Um, they might feel a bit weird doing that. And I can understand that. And I'm not going to judge anyone for that um, that choice. But I can, I can also understand why EW might be careful about adding something like elephants to a hunting game because it could, I would, um, I would, I'm looking, trying to look from a developer perspective here, that that could cause some bad PR perhaps um, because of the, the way that elephants and um, how, how hunting of elephants uh, kind of, it gets people um, talking and not always in the best way, um, to put quite politely. When we were um, guessing about the location of the new map and it was going between Africa and Mexico, which was the first two locations I called um, when we found the gourd, there was a lot of discussion over um, adding big game to an Africa map versus not adding big game. And there was a lot of people, even on the Call of the Wild pages, saying no, they should never add elephants and giraffes and stuff like that. I never want to see that. It's it's not about that. But then Call of the Wild is a trophy hunting game. Um, so that kind of causes, like, it's like, where do you draw the line in having ethics like that in a video game? And I think that's a probably a topic that could go on forever and have a lot, a lot of debate about it. But my personal feeling is I would actually really enjoy playing um, basically like an updated Cabela's game. Like I said, the old Cabela's games had elephants and uh, like really aggressive elephants, really aggressive uh, lions. And I actually went to go and try and find some lions on my map just to, while I was talking about this, because these are by far the most controversial animal I would think in Call of the Wild. I've heard people say that they won't go and hunt the lions because they just feel weird about it. I've even had people say they won't shoot the, uh, I've heard people say they won't shoot the wolves because they feel weird about it because it's a canid. So really, really interesting to see people's different opinions on that. However, like I said, I think that if if ultimate hunting goes the way of big game with elephants, giraffes, but you maybe they maybe they add the big five um, that it could complement Call of the Wild and they could go together alongside each other without taking each other's audience really really well. Now something else that um, I actually saw some of my friends talking about was the character models for ultimate hunting. This is one of the character models that they shared on my Facebook page. That's really, really detailed, and I like it. Something that we lack in Call of the Wild, and that I have discussed before, is we don't have very many um, character customization options. We have them in Classic, where you can uh, wear different outfits, wear different hats, wear different glasses, all those kind of things. But in Call of the Wild, we have like a few different character models and a few different outfits, and that's it. Um, they have added to that with adding the Remy Warren skin, so that's really interesting. However, if we do get a character that we can perhaps customise a little bit more in um, Ultimate Hunting, I'd be really interested. I do hope at least that there's a female model. Um, I would like to obviously have a, a female model that actually looks really nice. Now, this is a very awful screenshot, so please forgive me for the quality, but again, this is from the Ultimate Hunting Facebook page, and this was actually a video clip. Um, 
for whatever reason I couldn't get it to play in very good quality to get a green uh, get a screenshot but I wanted to talk about this anyway and this is the vehicles in Ultimate Hunting they shared this little clip of um, this vehicle going down um, like down the road and then into the water and I really like it I think it looks really really cool and if there's going to be vehicles in it I would imagine there's going to be quite an open like oh, quite a big map to traverse if there's going to be a vehicle because what would be the point in having like these really really good vehicle models and vehicle controls if there's not much point in using them and I know it's very hard to tell from the screenshot again I apologize I don't know why I couldn't get a better screenshot than this I do encourage you to go to their Facebook page however and watch it for yourself that it runs really well now something else that Ultima Hunting is going to have that Call of the Wild steers away from because of controversy again is suppressors. Now suppressors are something that a lot of people have said in Call, uh, for Call of the Wild, why don't we have suppressors? And it's been talked about for game balance purposes that it might make the game too easy because if you can shoot animals, you know, one herd next to another and they don't spook, that it could make the game just like far too much of a shooting gallery. And I can totally see that. I can totally, totally see that with the amount of animals that we have in Call of the Wild. If you can shoot a Gemsbok in one herd, and it not spook the herd that's less than 150 meters away, that might cause problems. Um, I've seen really cool suggestions that maybe make it a chance that animals don't spook and stuff like that. Maybe higher levels do and lower levels don't. Um, all kinds of really cool things. Um, but I'm really interested to see how Ultimate Hunting could utilize suppressors. It seems like we'll be able to customize our rifles quite a lot. And I'll talk about that again in a minute. So going through the comments on Facebook, there was a couple that I decided that I would screenshot and add to this. So Ultimate Hunting, um, the official page there, you can see the name quite clearly, please go follow them. All animals will have random antlers and scores. So a bit like the true rack system in Call of the Wild by the sound of it. And um, scores, maybe, maybe it's a bit more like classic. And again, don't forget that these guys, uh, from what I've heard, have played classic and Call of the Wild a lot. So maybe there's inspiration there. I don't know. And again, um, if you can run the Hunter Call of the Wild, you will be able to run Ultimate Hunting. So again, them sort of linking the fact that maybe if you can run Call of the Wild, basically you'll be able to run Ultimate Hunting. Similar graphic, um, but basically it's going to be the same sort of thing to run. So that makes me very happy having just bought a, a new laptop. I'm very, very pleased that I'll actually be able to run it on this laptop because I was looking at some of the graphics and thinking, ooh, maybe uh, this might be a bit higher capacity than what my... Uh, my laptop wants to run. So I decided to go into the Trophy Lodge um, on Call of the Wild for this last clip here because something that I have heard is that the devs will be adding Trophy Lodges. Now Trophy Lodges to me make a hunting game. I bought Call of the Wild as soon as I saw that it had Trophy Lodges. Like that's when I started playing Call of the Wild. I was like yes because I don't want to shoot something cool and then not be able to look at it. I don't see the point in playing a hunting game without a trophy lodge and that's just me. That is just me and that's my opinion. I like to have my trophies that I've worked really hard for on full display for everyone and for me for future. Um, so just ignore me while I'm fiddling around in my trophy lodge. I had a few things that I needed to put up, um, a few diamonds and stuff that I killed in a video that will also be out today. Um, but yeah, so if they're going to add trophy lodges, add game that maybe we won't ever see in Call of the Wild because they don't want to add those for whatever reason, such as elephants, giraffe, crocodiles, hippos, which are all game species I really want to actually play on. Like I want to like hunt, a, um, be in a game and hunt in an environment with those animals. I think that would be really, really cool. So I'm really, really intrigued um, by this game. I'm not going to hype it up. I'm not by any means hyping it up. Like I said, I'm not. I don't think this will kill Call of the Wild. Call of the Wild, you are above and beyond any hunting game that has existed ever from what I've seen. You know, Hunting Sin 2, people were like, oh, this is going to be better than Call of the Wild. And it just very much wasn't. It wasn't even... In this, it wasn't even the same league as Call of the Wild. Um, and I would basically, I'd be really, really curious to see if this can just complement it. If they can maybe be the the game that you go to when you want to shoot an aggressive elephant or, you know, a giraffe and that kind of 
that kind of game. Whereas Call of the Wild is going to be more maybe of your deer species and, you know, more fallow, like fallow deer, red deer, white tail, uh, rabbits, all of those game species. So I'll be really, really interested to see what they can actually do with ultimate hunting. This is basically just all my thoughts and feelings now. Um, like I said, uh, I couldn't find a better thing to go, uh, go, like, talk over than clips from Call of the Wild because of the similarities that even the devs have compared. So, uh, yeah. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think based off these screenshots and whether it's something you would play, maybe, like I said, as a complimentary thing to Call of the Wild. Um, I definitely will be playing it when it comes out. I didn't ever play Hunting Sim 2 because I just couldn't stand the look of it. As soon as I saw the, the trailer for it and there was horns not on the pronghorn in their trailer, I was like, yeah, nah, this isn't for me. Um, so, yeah. I'll definitely play it and of course as soon as I play it I'll tell you guys exactly what I think of it. I'm always give my honest opinion. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think and I'll be very interested to hear them. I'll see you guys again soon.